Sometimes science does things, and it doesn't even know why. Because the question is, can you rather than should you? And I think that's happened in a lot of cases. Here's one of those cases. A team of researchers in Germany have managed to actually implant false memories in someone's mind and then erase them. So they went to the point of creating false memories in someone to the point where they would adamantly defend that this happened, that they remember this when it never happened. And then also went back and then erased those memories. This is a really frightening, this is a really frightening development. At the University of Hagen Leibniz Institute, Weissmedmedien, Johannes Gutenberg University, Mainz, and the University of Portsmouth conducted a series of memory experiments on volunteers over the course of several sessions. So several people volunteered for this, God knows why. And they managed to, over the course of many sessions, implant false memories and then delete them. They wanted to confirm that it was impossible to plant and then remove memories, false ones, in, this, in the mind of a subject using psychological tactics. So it wasn't like this was surgery or something like that. It was literally just using psychological tactics. And it would make me really wonder that if there were any psychologists in here or psychiatrists or where their conscience or their ethical guide was when this was, was going on. In the last experiment before it was done, the researchers created a fictional but plausible story from 52 participants' childhood and blend those events with ones that actually took place. So you see what they're doing. They're doing the half-truth thing and then mixing them together to seem like it's like it's true. They then reinforced these false memories in the mind of the participant by asking the volunteers' parents to play along and claim things that happened exactly as described, including completely fictional elements. And over the course of multiple sessions, the volunteers then uh, began to shed those false memories when another technique was used to get rid of them. So, and then the people went on to deny that certain events ever happened when they didn't, or, but they had adamantly insisted that they had before. Now, during a follow-up of about a year later, 70, some 74% of the volunteers had lost the false memories or even outright rejected them as ever having occurred. This is frightening because for a lot of science, you understand the practical application of something, what, what good it would do. Like you can develop, like you can split the atom, you know, but you can use it to, to make energy or you could bomb somebody with it. So you understand that a science can be used two ways. I don't know what kind of positive application there is in, in planting false memories in someone. I can't even see why you would want to do this other than to prove that you could or to make a point about human memory or do it to expand your knowledge of human memory. Beyond that, I can't think of any good thing you could ever do of this. But it's like a lot of science. I don't distrust science. I don't distrust GMOs. I don't distrust vaccines. I distrust capitalism with these because I think that's a better way of putting at it, a better way of putting it. There's nothing wrong with these things. It concerns me who has them and what they're doing with them. And this one is very, very frightening overall because the potential to be abused here is frankly astronomical. And as you start getting into AI deep fakes, now we can implant false memories into people. Some of the most horrendous dystopian future science fiction is, is very slowly becoming possible. 
know, before some of these things were physically impossible. You couldn't do them. It's, you, it just couldn't be done. But now, this is like the infant stages for that. It's horrendous. So, it, it's just a very terrifying development. Because I think we have a pretty good idea where capitalism is going to apply these sciences. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.